Hello, this is Rickety Cricket 212 here bringing you another action figure review. This is um, Luke Skywalker in his snow gear. This is a 12 inch figure or 1 6 scale. Um, I'll just bring it up closer here so you can see some of the more some of the details. Um, as you can see here, he does have a lot of different textures on his uniform that match up exactly to the movie. Um, so they did a really nice job. A let me just show you his head sculpt here because his helmet actually does come off. Um, it does actually look like Luke Skywalker and I think that's pretty impressive you know he doesn't look you know like he's an action figure like he kind of looks plasticky but he's not like he doesn't really look like an action figure so much which is nice um, he, he came with a lot of accessories he came with four different ones that I know of I bought this uh, like second hand like at a comic book store so I'm not sure if he came with all of accessory all of his accessories but I'm pretty sure he did uh, I don't have his box but I have the snow troopers box which came from the same wave and I'll just show that to you because uh, just to give you an idea of what his box would look like um, this would be the front obviously it would say Luke Skywalker down here and on the sides it would have pictures of Luke Skywalker and on the back here it would have probably some different characters and a picture of him from the movie and on the side here there would be another picture of Luke Skywalker I assume uh, just like this box or just like the Snow Troopers box does okay let me show you some of his accessories I'll start off with his helmet um, because I already kind of showed you this a little bit. Uh, it's plastic. It's a kind of a soft plastic, so it kind of fits to his head really nice. And these goggles come off. They are actually see-through, and they do fit on Luke here. Let me. You have to put that on over the helmet, but they do fit his nose and his the shape of his face. Okay. So, uh... The helmet, uh, they got the helmet detail pretty good with the little uh, squares on here. Like, because I'm pretty sure this was a material helmet in the movie, but they just made it out of plastic. Um, if you're wondering how to put the goggles on, you just take them and put it on over this. Oh, come on, upside down. <laughs> And if you don't want him to wear his goggles, you can put them up here, uh, because I'm pretty sure he does that in the movie, too. Uh, you can see it fits on his head pretty nicely in it. Can put them down like this. That's how I usually have them. Um, one of his other accessories is this. Um, it's a, just like a blaster pistol. It looks similar to the one that Han Solo would carry in the movie. I'm not sure if Luke had one of these, but it, um, he might have. I would have to, to look at the movie, or to watch the movie, I mean. Um, but it it is pretty detailed. Uh, it doesn't fit in his hand great. It falls out a little bit, but you could just put a rubber band on it and it would hold it in place and that'd be okay if you were wanting to display it. He does have a holster here uh, that it slides into. Sorry, it's hard to do it with one hand. Um, there we go. And this little strap here keeps it in. Uh, just like that. And it stays in there pretty tightly. And his last accessory is this lightsaber, and I would take it out, but it's I've got it in his hand, like kind of rubber banded to it, so that it will stay because it doesn't stay in his hand too well either. 
Um, the blade doesn't come out on the lightsaber hilt that I know of. I don't want to break it or anything trying to get it out. Um, I guess you, if you wanted, if you didn't want the blade in there, you could cut it out or something or break it, but I don't know why you would want to do that. Uh, one of the features that it has is this little, this little round hole right here at the very end. Uh, this is so that you can hook it to his belt. Uh, it just hooks on there, and since the blade doesn't come out, uh, it just kind of hangs to his side. Uh, let me show you some of his articulation. He's got it in the head, and it just goes side to side. And the shoulders, the wrists, the waist, or not the waist, I mean the hips, and the knees. And I'm not sure about his, his ankles because he is wearing boots. Um, this is a really nice figure. Uh, I would give it a 5 out of 5 if I were to rate it. And if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money again, like on the Snow Trooper, for a high quality figure, um, you could still find this you like on secondary markets for pretty cheap. I, I think I found this. I found this one in a comic book store, which I'm sure you can find it online. Um, it looks pretty good, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, so thank you for watching this review, and uh, please watch some more some of my other reviews and. Uh,